Hello, buddies. I'm Hugo. In this video, I will briefly introduce a special version of Ryzen 7 5700G engineering sample. The key aspects could be seen from this product code ending with 263-50. It's different from previous engineering sample which is dash 30. Obviously this special version's CPU frequency is originally 100 MHz higher than previous sample. That's why its basic speed is 3.7 GHz while the former one we test is 3.6. Personally, I don't agree the rumor in China like this is the uh, ES version of 5800G, but just its basic speed is originally set higher. Just like our previous testing, the RAM frequency is enabled XMP and uh, SSD, Wi-Fi. Also the integrated GPU, this is the soul of APU. Fortunately, AMD official graphic driver from Joom is fully support all engineering samples. For more detailed info, let's check later. On the up-to-date version, CPU Z, all details could be identified correctly. Compared with previous sample, hardly could I tell the difference. Especially their stepping and revision are exactly the same. The CPU ratio is unlocked, just the basic speed is slightly higher. For testing environment like the mainboard and RAM, all remains the same as before. Nevertheless, its graphics info from revision to GPU and memory clock also the same as the 263-30. Thus, in the section of CPU benchmark testing, I won't expect it too much, because from we pay the actual results, those two engineering samples are so close to each other. In addition, the results of Fritz Benchmark also demonstrates they have almost the same CPU calculation ability. For my personal view, such slight difference is not crucial but could be considered as error. For more supporting proofs, they have been applied on the Cinebench R15 and run for 10 times continuously. Both CPUs remain the default clock ratio respectively. From either the Cinebench R15 or R20, their scores won't let us consider as significant improvement. Subsequently, in the GPU section, the 3 mar simulates its integrated graphics gaming performers. In such evaluation demo episodes, its FPS is pretty low as just around 10 frames a second. Let's look at its final result to check its detailed scores and estimated performers. Over 1600 on time spine score. Obviously, the 263-50 is just 1% higher than 5750NG on record list. The overall graphics score is over 1400. Over 9000 on CPU score, it is very close to the previous D3 3700X. Once again, as I take Battlefield 5 in 1080p resolution, its estimated performance is around 35 FPS. More specifically, its integrated graphics actual performance is highly recommended to run on low or mid quality. As mentioned in previous episodes, to fully release such APU's graphics ability is extremely related to the RAM frequency. In such DDR4 generation, the frequency is still the crucial bottleneck for the onboard RAM to be used as graphics RAM. That's why if you have any chance of says high-end RAM and stably overclocked to 4000 MHz or higher, I won't be surprised the core graphics gaming performers could be very close to disc graphics card like the GTX 1050. As the great contribution of 7 nanometer process, the Zizan structure always presents amazing heat control even in full loading on CPU stress testing. Last but not least, here I attach these two kinds of engineering samples compared with the retail final version. Regardless of the potential ability of overclock, all three APU's performers are almost the same. Unless you manually amend the PBO overclock to 4.8 GHz, 
In that circumstances, its scores could even surpass the 5800X. Finally, that's why the previous rumor considered the last batch of engineering sample represents the 5800G.